So we have our site. Now we want to split this site into different uh, areas so that we can change the material. Okay, change the material assignment. So I want to go to massing and site and I want to create a split surface. Again, by splitting the surface, we're able to change the material of the different surfaces. So split surface, click the command, and then click on the surface that you'd like to split. Next, since we have nicely placed a CAD file here, you can click on pick lines and kindly be careful kindly uh, let's go together let's do this together because there are small lines that you might not see okay so let's start here click click okay there's that small line that you might not see so click now if you click and click again it will actually create two lines since you are you have pick lines enabled so be careful don't click and then accidentally click again. Okay, zoom out. Okay, click. Okay, and then we want to go here. That's our parking area. So I'll click here. I need to uh, remove that extended line right there. So I'll click here first. Click on modify to cancel the pick lines option and then TR to trim. So let me trim this guy. Okay. And then go back to pick lines. So I did that so that I don't forget that I need to trim that line, but you don't really need to. You can do trimming after. There's that extended line again. I'll stop first and say trim so that I don't forget go back to pick lines now there's that small line right there so don't forget that go out there's this small line right here don't forget that line continue Okay, and continue. Okay, this one stops there, so that's cool. Don't forget that small line right there. Okay, do I have a small line here? No, nope. that's okay. Goes through. Now this one, it's misaligned a little bit. That's okay. Okay. And around, last property. zoom in make sure you get that small line right there otherwise you don't get a closed loop which is important again it's saying that this is a uh, misaligned a little bit that's okay now once you have done that click on the modify tab you need to since we're cutting this whole site into two we want to extend this beyond the surface area to so select this okay that cuts that out from here goes around and then likewise cut this out there you don't need a closed loop you just need to get that extended to cut out this property into two separate property or topo surface click ok and there you go I have this guy here let's select shaded mode 
separate from this okay so make sure you you select the line you can always go back and click uh, if if there's an error uh, you can say show error and then it will show you in orange where an error might have occurred and you can always correct that 